Hello everyone, I have another message for you. Now that uh, my eyes are doing so much better and I've completed my inner child course, uh, which is available online for any of you who are looking for the healing, um, I'm able to do more videos now, which I'm really excited about. I've missed doing uh, my videos with you guys. And so, <sighs> This message that I just received is to bring awareness to the energies that are hitting this planet. As we move through the photon belt, uh, we are being subjected to much higher frequencies. And that is going to continue on a trajectory that is getting more and more intense in a sense of the frequencies are going to be higher and they're going to be generating more awakening and again as i've told you guys even in last night's video that awakening is simply dissolving illusions and allowing truth to be uh to basically come forth to the forefront so with everything that's kind of going on just have no fear Okay, and, and, and I know that's kind of hard to say for some of you. I know that depending on where you are in the world, there are some really intense things happening in people's countries. Uh, this is going to continue probably for the next couple of months as this last Saturn Uranus uh, square for 2021 occurs on Christmas Eve. We're now well into it uh, we're feeling the energies and we're going to feel the energies and probably until the end of january the good news is is that even though uranus and saturn are going to make a square again although it won't be exact it'll just be about one degree off that won't be until the fall of next year and so we're going to see some uplifting results i want to say or just less intensity of the very restrictive kind when it comes to freedoms and liberations. However, take solace in knowing that no matter what your journey looks like, and no matter what everything that's happening outside of you that you see, everything is being stimulated to dissolve the illusions and to awaken the truth. And this requires a lot of healing. This requires us looking at ourselves more than anything else outside of us. In what have I been holding on to that I can no longer hold on to? Because these frequencies are almost making that weight much heavier than ever before. So if you've been trying to carry it with you, you're going to find that you can't carry it with you much longer. And the sooner you're able to let go of that excess baggage, which I just did a post about in my Instagram and on Telegram last night, you will find yourself shifting into higher timelines. So th the reason is, is because these frequencies are generating a lot of movement within us. They're generating catalysts within our own lives because we're so, um, you know, we're in tune with everything that is happening around us and beyond this planet that all of these energies coming in are engaging us and we're engaging them. But we're perhaps not understanding how this engagement occurs. So the depth of it is, is that you may feel like you're going through many crises right now. And I think a lot of us are experiencing that. Uh, and they're going to be coming up in almost like little pop-ups, little pop-up crises that uh, are calling for our attention, for call calling our attention to look at the things about ourselves that need to shift, that are either false perceptions, are grounded in false beliefs, are grounded in wounded patterning and finding a way to heal that and let go. So 
just know that everything is beautiful despite some of the ugliness that we're seeing. It is absolutely stimulating everything that we need right now at this time in order to continue forward in the trajectory that we are all manifesting together. This trajectory feels very much stimulated by the knowing that there is no other option. There is no other, there is no going back. There's no going back. And this concept of not going back is important because we need to we need to break this oh this unhealthy relationship that we have with the past that is another message that came through um friday night for me is that we have such an unhealthy relationship with our past where we don't want to let it go that we want to hold on so much so so it's so interesting because we so want a new a new earth you know like that new vibration and at the same time there's a part of us that can't escape the past you know we just keep falling back into past patterns or past behaviors or past relationships or you know all of that and so we have this almost like toxic relationship with the past that we need to heal and this comes to this idea of being able to let go so the these energies i feel are kind of really almost pushing us into the future in a way forcing us to let go of that relationship we have with the past because there's so much in us that you know we go through a grieving process whenever we lose something and so much of our ego believes that when we let go of something we are losing it and we're not we're actually putting ourselves in a position to gain more than we've ever been able to gain before and so be okay with some of the chaos be okay with some of the upheaval this is all happening for our greatest good uh just folk go within focus on what you need to look at that you've maybe perhaps been avoiding to this time what needs to be healed what needs to be brought to the surface as we make this uh, movement into the nodal axis of Taurus Scorpio at the beginning of 2022, the next 18 months are all going to be about having to go into the subconscious and pulling out all of the stuff we haven't wanted to pretend is there, all of the 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 lies that we've told ourselves. All And the lies can be as simple as, I'm not good enough. You know, I can't do this. All of those, like, my voice doesn't matter. All of those beliefs, we're, we're being forced to go in there and really pull a lot of that stuff up. So we're, allow the energies to work you, allow the energies to massage you in some way, because this truly is um, taking us into a better place. We just have to be okay with the path that's getting us there, because I don't think a lot of us anticipated the path to be much like this, and that's okay, and that's okay, but... Do you understand that the energies coming in are making it impossible, impossible for lies to stay hidden, for illusions to remain behind the veil? They, everything is coming forward. And that creates a lot of unrest within us all. So um, marinate on that. And let me know in the comments below how the journey's been going for you and how you're feeling going into 2022. I feel really positive about it, not because I don't think there are going to be some hard times. I do, but I can already see the formation of the foundations that we need for systems that are much more beneficial for us and the world collectively coming into place. So where you clear out your own stuff, you're going to be able to start to see the positive and the good coming through a lot of this crap. Guys, I love you so much. If you need any more information about me, everything's in the description below. My online healing, inner child course, um, inner child sessions, readings, coaching, all of that's below. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll be back with you guys soon.